Jay Bills from Media Spotlight UK, and for the first time, I have the infectious energy of Nikki Roo in the building. I mean, pleasure to meet you. I mean, I've been seeing you all over, like, you know, doing interviews backstage for, for The Zone and, you know, being the current champion that you are. Like, how are you, first of all? Oh, I'm doing amazing. Uh, I've beat the jet lag, thank God. <laughs> that was a top concern about traveling this far, but I mean, it's been amazing. Everyone in Newcastle has been so sweet and I, I don't want to say accommodating because I'm not asking to be accommodated but just helpful is such a better word everyone has been so helpful and so kind you, I mean we just spoke off camera you have such an infectious energy about you like you know since you come into the scene you know knowing about you that you bring this positive light and knowing that you can kick ass at the same time like how how how, how does that work for you I, I wish I could just take that energy from you do both <laughs> uh, yeah do both it's well, I, it's something I've definitely had to work on. I mean, I, I think a lot of people are naturally positive. I think we're inclined toward that. I don't know if that's true. That's just my personal belief. Um, but sometimes we get beat down. I've definitely put in a lot of work to try and view the world in a positive way. I mean, every time something bad has happened to me, I've really tried to sit there and be like, okay, this is a plan that is so much bigger than I am, so I have no idea the way this is going to lead, how it's going to work out, so I just have to trust the big picture <laughs> and that's helped so much but as far as like switching into like uh, mode like animal mode in the ring animal mode I'm like uh, gonna <laughs> fight you um <laughs> I'm not I know I'm not what's funny though I smile in the ring I don't know if you've ever I've seen it I've seen it uh, even in your last fight with Alexia Grace you had uh, a smile continuous I just I'm having a good time I think that's why because I'm like we both signed up for it I know that I'm gonna get hit because it's boxing. I know I'm gonna hit. Oh, oh, sorry. Uh, I know I'm gonna probably hit harder. So then I'm like, ah, I'm prepared. It's fun. I love doing this. So why wouldn't I be happy? Take me back to your fight with Alexia Grace. Obviously, you're the champion now. Um, what? How was the whole experience? Obviously, you know you had AJ Bunker in the in the, in the set as well, like in the yeah. storyline between you guys as well. Take me through that whole experience. So. I mean, overall, the whole experience, very exciting. I, I loved getting to know the entire Misfits team. Now, obviously, I know everyone a bit better because I've been doing commentary and coming back. Um, but everyone was such a pleasure. Everyone was very open and very easy to get to know. So that was exciting. Getting to know the Misfits fan base has been so freaking exciting. As far as the whole AJ Bunker thing, I don't know, man. I just, she, like... <laughs> When she flipped, because like I know some people are like, oh, it was fake. I did not know someone was going to be throwing flour on me. And all I want to say is that I feel like people are lucky I've gotten my temper in check <laughs> and that I laugh at things now <laughs> instead I get mad. Because <laughs> I used to have a temper. Um, just like a little, like a little bit. But yeah, I don't know. I feel like she keeps talking about wanting to fight, which I'll happily do. I don't really understand this concept of I'm ducking her when she hasn't been offered to me, but whatever. Um, but yeah, if she wants to continue her losing streak, I'm happy to see her in the ring. Well, I mean, before we talk about your current opponent, uh, Carla Jade, um, there was a story that, uh, that you put up and you was explaining about that there was meant to be a fight prior to your fight with Carla Jade, um, talking about Astrid Wett. Um, in terms of, was that, was that meant to be a fight that was meant to happen? Because um, you were explaining in your stories about a certain person that was apparently like ducking you or something like that. Like, I mean, do you want to re reflect on that? Yes. I'm always happy to reflect on that because somebody likes to be extremely passive aggressive all the time. I'm just more direct. Uh, I was the mandatory for Astrid Wett, which is... I think part of the reason she stepped down entirely, um, she refuses, she refused to take a fight with me, uh, which is fine, that's her prerogative. But then, <laughs> she started being very disrespectful and started posting things. I said it all in my story, so you know. Yeah. And then recently she put a question mark over my face when she was talking. I saw that tweet, yeah. Uh, I saw that, I, I, mean, I, I mean, what were your thoughts on that? That's just rude. Here's my thing. Like, if it was she's trying to build up beef between us for a fight, I'd be like, ah, okay, I get it, whatever. But you can't be a passive, aggressive little baby and then run away. Like, 
it just confuses me because I'm like, do you, does she just feel confident because she's an ocean away? Because I'm very much like, we can settle it in a sparring match if you really want. I don't mind. But yeah, so she just throws little jabs and then I respond with direct counter hits. <laughs> Well, speaking of going direct, I mean, your opponent, Carla Jade, um, you guys have wasted no time in taking digs at each other. What I will say is that the creativity in terms of the, you know, the kangaroo, the, the whole animation thing, I mean, very creative. I mean, oh, the, but the digs between each other, I mean, like, you guys are wasting no time getting at each other's, you know, getting at each other's necks. Uh, yeah. I mean, it, shots got thrown very quickly. I'm very much, even in real life, I'm very much a counter puncher. I, I don't like starting problems for the sake of starting problems. But also, if you're going to start talking shit, excuse my language, can I curse on your channel? Of course you can. Brilliant. If you're going to start talking shit, if you're going to start twisting my words and making it seem as though I don't like... It just doesn't make sense to me because I'll say something I'll be like, oh yeah, I'm going to knock her out. We all say we're going to knock each other out. Relax. You know what I mean? So it's like, it's little things like that where I'm like, there's fight talk and then I'm like, you just, she seems like she's desperate for something to say instead of saying anything of value. But that's probably because she knows that she's going to get hurt. So that's, that's kind of how that goes. I mean, you know, speaking of Carla, I mean, what do you make of her as an opponent? I mean, her debut was last year, ironically, in Newcastle. Uh, yeah. So returning to the place that she made her debut. Um, I mean, what did you make of her performance? I mean, obviously, you know, a year has gone on. There would have been a lot of improvements from, you know, oh, from both. <laughs> well, as you know, as far as I, I, I would imagine it anyway. Um, obviously, she works in uh, shoot fighters. She trains there. Um, what do you make of her as a fighter in general and, and as a human being in general? Oh, gosh. I mean, as a human being, I'm sure she's fine, right? Like, I, I actually haven't met her in person at all. Um, as a human being, like, I, I think it's really cool. She's highly educated. She uh, runs her own company for Ring Girls. So stuff like that, like, we love a successful woman in business. I think that that's really awesome. I don't like how she can be a little sanctimonious towards some of the other girls. Um, Specifically, the OnlyFans girls. Like, I don't do OnlyFans personally. It's not my thing, and I don't necessarily think it's the best choice. However, it's also like I don't think smoking's the best choice. Like, I, I can't. I'm not gonna sit here and pretend I'm better than you, especially as a fighter, just because you've done OnlyFans. So, I that part of her personality, not the biggest fan of. But overall, like, she seems like a nice girl. All of those things. So good on her. Um, as an opponent. <laughs> I have no footage of her because <laughs> she hasn't posted anything, right? She has posted no training footage at all. Is I that by design, potentially, like maybe? Well, so obviously we all have things as fighters that we hide, yeah. right? Like, oh, I just got this new hit and I'm not going to show anyone so I can be like, bam, surprise, whatever it is. Or like, oh, I've really been working on footwork. Like anything that really changes your game, you're not going to show. The issue with her is that she can't hide 20% of her game. She has to hide all of it. I only have to hide like 20%. You, does that make sense? Because she can't show anything because she only has this much. What is she going to show? That she learned how to throw a jab? Like, eh. So I get why she's hiding her footage. I do think it's on pur purpose. She might be mad at me for saying all this. Sorry. I mean, it might, it, it might, and this might end up building the <laughs> the intensity during the course of the uh, rest of the week. Maybe who knows? Know. She's going to throw it back in my face during the presser, but it's fine because I'm just going to break her face during the fight. Um, but I, I swear I'm not this arrogant, I promise. It's all just jokes for the fights. But like, I mean, I am going to win, don't get me wrong. It's just to what degree. Um, but yeah, I that last fight, I would love to hear her thoughts on it because surely she can look at that and know that that was not a good display of boxing. Not that I'm like top of the world. You know what I mean? Yeah. But at the same time, I wasn't catting my opponents. I hear that. I mean, so not looking past Carla, but I mean, obviously you're defending a belt. Should it be the case that you, you know, retain your belt? Um, you know, yeah. is there anyone else on the, on the roster that you're looking at, at the moment? Obviously from previous storyline, you know, AJ Bunker could be someone that, you know, could, who else are you looking at at the moment potentially? Not looking past Carla, of course. No, of course. Um, 
That's a great question. I mean, if Astrid really ever wants to step up, I'm here um, <laughs> anytime. But besides her, I mean, I am very much, I haven't rejected any opponents yet. So I'm very open to whoever they really want to give me. Um, I think that, I said this before, Leah Godi had an amazing debut. Um, AJ, I'm down to end your career. Um, cause he can't go on three losses. She's just going to be a journey woman at that point. But anyway, <laughs> um, anyone else really, it's about who can come down to the 112 weight class. Cause it's a hard cut to make. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm in told to wrap up cause you got to get oh, your yeah, media, you got to get, you got to get your media workout doing in, but, um, but Nikki, I wish you all the best. I'm going to see you throughout this, this week anyway. Uh, any last message for Carla and your fans out there? Uh, for Carla, I hope you get better soon after this fight. For everyone else out there, if especially the women, but for everyone, if you are interested in combat sports, if you're interested in learning how to defend yourself, even if it's a little bit, I promise it's not as scary as you think it is to step into the dojo, the gym, wherever. Just go do it. The amount of empowerment you're going to feel by learning how to defend yourself, defend others, it just makes you walk differently and you will like feel your confidence grow. Um, my DMs are open if people want, like have reservations and need some advice going forward, but I highly recommend it. And thank you guys for all of your support. All right, well, I wish you all the best. Get you to your media workout. Yeah, no problem. I wish you, wish you all the best.